Antonio, the site of our broadcast and where the Spurs will be going up against the New Orleans Pelicans. New Orleans is one of the teams right now playing very consistently. The game tonight marks their second. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Pelicans come into a Western Conference contest in this game. It's Wednesday Night Basketball, live on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the sideline. It's out on the road tomorrow as the Spurs wrap up this home stretch. Well, they're certainly excited about this one. And will be laying it all on the line as the intensity is palpable. Two top caliber teams facing off on the hardwood to do battle. Yeah, and you know for the Spurs, lately they've been off their game just a little bit. It's led to them losing that top spot here in the stand. And Greg, peaks and valleys are part of the season for the most talented of teams. I mean, they've still got plenty of time to get things right before the playoffs. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. Davis is out there with Frank. Then it's A.I. And it's Palmer in at the three. Now we're moving into the heart of the NBA season, Clark. Uh, his chemistry and pecking order in the locker room been set by the coach and by the team at this point of the year? Yeah, I think with veteran teams, it's pretty well established. But again, the makeup of your veterans is key there. And with younger teams, though, I think they begin to... It's a process. It's an ongoing process of figuring out roles right, right. and pecking order. So as you get into the middle part of the season, the heart of it, I think the young guys do start to kind of figure it out. Dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. And just love seeing Young share the ball. Well, when he's focused on involving his teammates, it just makes everyone better. AI passes to Palmer. Here's Davis. Traps in the tray. Davis has got five. And the soft jump shot there of Davis. You got to respect his perimeter game. Here's Young. Again, the Spurs, good for two. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Here's Hugh. Another one calls for New Orleans. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. There's the feed to Young. And it's slammed in by Young just really knows when to throw it down. Young has a good sense for when to just rise up. AI dishes to Franklin. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. Pelican shooting their first free throws here for the night. No good on that one. So he comes up empty, missing both. The Spurs have gone four of five from the field so far. Bolden. He's guarded by Davis. Here's Young. That one a little long. That's a good shot. Even though it couldn't find the bottom of the bucket, I like the shot quality. AI with the bucket. Yeah, he has a little bit of trickeration with that one. Gets that one to go against the limb. 
Trickeration. I like that, partner. That's pretty strong word creation. And you've got to be creative, though, whether you're commentating or hooping, especially when you're going inside. Bolden on the mark with the 15-footer. He has six. Young really trying to flesh out his game more. And passes like that prove how effective he can be. And Davis puts it in. Spurs trail by three. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Bolden. The shot comes out. Great D that time from Davis. From the arc. And another three for New Orleans. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling. Off to a very good start offensively as a result. Zamori. He's covered by Murray. AI outside. Feeds to Franklin. Goes back up. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Franklin's got his second bucket. And, and getting after it on the offensive glass and adding to that early total with the putback. How about early attack mode? I love the approach he's coming to this game with. Really strong. AI kicks to Davis. Out to AI. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Greg Popovich and I talked for a few minutes. This is their second meeting with this team. The first one didn't go as well as they'd like, so this time around, they're going to try to close the lane off, push drivers and slashers as far away from the basket as possible. We'll see how that goes, Kevin. Thank you, David. Now, here's AI. He picked up 36 points in the last one against Charlotte. Aggressive coming out of the gate here, guys. Wow. Tone setting, that's what I call it. Grabbing this one by the throat early on and then squeezing it hard. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. And not surprising, obviously unhappy with the lack of response from his team. Can't blame him. I mean, the effort hasn't been there. Just has not been there. Hopefully, he can get the fire lit. Ananobi kicks to Young. To halt the run, and it falls over the rim and in. Young's got six points. You know, effective from the interior, Young is someone who looks to score once he's that close. From down in the low post, it goes. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Murray outside. Just five on the clock. Bolden misses the three. Pelicans leading by ten. It's up a three. It's rebounded by Ananobi. San Antonio's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. He kicks to Murray. Pass to Gobert. Here's Ananobi. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And he banks in the layup. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. They get the rebound. Here's Palmer. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well, Greg. Here's on an open. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Bolden. And another basket for San Antonio. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Here's Hugh. Oh, no good with the triple. It's Gobert with the ball for San Antonio. Eight-point game. Their last meeting was in New Orleans, where they were unable to fight off the Pelicans. A, a really a resounding loss the last time they matched up. They got absolutely manhandled on the boards. And, and Greg, you know how it is. At some point, you've just got to man up. 
and play with a lot more aggressiveness and toughness and pride inside. Davis. AI passes to Davis. Over to the wing. AI outside. That's good on the jump shot. AI's got nine. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're there. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. In an effort to protect the players, games are called a little tighter sometimes. And that said, Clark, which guys still bring the physicality that draw the eyes and the attention of the officials? <laughs> well, some of these guys bring attention to themselves by virtue of their reputations. But in terms of physical presence, Stephen Adams to me is just a behemoth of a guy. He's grit. He's just all grit, isn't he? Huh? Yeah, he really is. I mean, he just oozes that with his size and the way he goes about his work. He does. So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. Left side, Scott. Shoots it. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. AI kicks to Leaf. Here's Hugh. It's tipped. Here's Alexandris. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Now just a five-point Pelican lead. And it's A.I. missing. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Now here's Jones. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Golden State. Pass to Paul. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. I think he's got to be more aggressive, stronger, getting through those screens. Can't allow shooters that kind of space to pull the trick. Leaf, no good. Yeah, good interior D there prevents the deuce. And, you know, that's not easy at all. When guys get this close to the bucket, it's tough to stop the basket. Outside Hardaway. The dish to AI. Leaf passes to Hardaway. Takes the 13-footer. It doesn't go for him. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Here's Paul. Scott can't get it to go. Boy, he really bungled that finish. And AI with the basket on the assist from Hardaway. 11 points for AI. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Paul. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first quarter. Terrific timing on that pass, placing it in a great spot, ideal spot where his teammate could score. Leave kicks to Hardaway. AI outside. Out left to the wing. New Orleans moving the ball around. Back to Hardaway. The pass to AI. Out to Hardaway. Let's the three fly. No good on that one. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. And Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. And, you know, time will tell how big a factor that becomes in this game, guys, but if you're the coaching staff, it's certainly a point of emphasis. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. New Orleans in the lead. 
and it's blocked by Scott. They recover it. The shot's good. 43 seconds left in the first. Jones against Hardaway. Pass to Davenport. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. San Antonio shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. The first free throw is good. And so he hits both. And here is Hardaway. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Charlotte. Yeah, passed the ball well that last time. Out pinpoint passes and racked up a bunch of assists. Garrison in a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. For New Orleans, they have not yet made a free throw in the game, 0 of 2 so far. And the first one at the line is good. Both good from the line that time. Looking at the last game for the New Orleans Pelicans, it was a win against Charlotte. And, and once they established that flow offensively, really never got any resistance from the deep. And you know, Greg, they were sinking shots left and right, and that's got to be demoralizing for the defense. They were in a real zone. Jones kicks to Paul, takes a three. That one doesn't go. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Pelicans ahead, up by four. And back with the start. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from New Orleans? Hustling on that offensive glass. That's led to a number of second-chance points. And we know energy and effort go hand in hand, and they won't be denied playing with a bunch of energy, easily coming up with those offensive rebounds, too. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the court right now for the Spurs, we've got Paul. He's out there with Jones, and it's Davenport in at the five, patrolling the paint. No excuse for that kind of defense. I'm positive they're upset about that. And for Tyus Jones, three gold medals playing for the U.S. national team throughout high school. He was Minnesota's Mr. Basketball, a national title clerk in his lone season at Duke. I mean, this kid's already got a lot of hardware. Yeah, he's got a cabinet full of hardware, and I think he's got a chance to develop into a really solid point guard in this league. Again, just one year of college, very early in his career. you got to give him time because he's shown that he can be a winner at the levels he's played at prior to the NBA. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, AI in their last time out against the Hornets did some very solid work. He finished with 36 points and he made them pay for the fouls, getting a lot of free throw attempts. The numbers in that game make me anxious to see what he can do tonight. Kevin? Thanks, David. It was a performance that not many players are capable of. I know I won't forget it for a while. And you have to think he'll keep it rolling here tonight. When you're that hot, it takes a while to cool down. And you know what, Greg? I think defensively, they're going to be ready for him. They won't make things easy. Coming off a game like he just had, I mean, he's going to get a bunch of attention. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. Scott finds Paul. Just four to shoot. From deep three-point range. But they'll get another chance. Hardaway against Scott. Another shot. That one goes. Count it. He has five. And so here is New Orleans. Trailing by two. After this one, they're off to Denver to take on the Nuggets. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. AI passes to Navarro. And it's blocked by Scott. And he's able to get it back. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. K 
kicks it to Jones. Down low. Goes back up. Hall oh, in a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And while we can, let's have a look at the 2K leaderboard to find out who have been the most efficient scorers in the NBA this month. You look at AI, a great player, second in the league. And, of course, Anthony Davis, one spot ahead of him. Also someone that shoots at such a high percentage, top five in the league. Both of these guys have been shooting with tremendous efficiency as the month has gone on. I don't know who's going to outdo who. Mark, there was a rules change not too long ago that promoted more help defense, less one-on-one -on -one defense, good or bad. I like it. Again, there's always going to be a premium on defending one-on-one, -on -one, but positioning defenders where you can help better and more, I think it's trying to make sure the offensive side doesn't get too much of an advantage where the rules had gone in the past. So I think it's a nice balancing act for the game. DeJounte Murray, he's checked in for San Antonio. Here's Harrington, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Harrington's got his first points of the night. And so Young will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. And moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. And no doubt that the fight was there, but no matter what they tried on that night, it just wasn't meant to be. And over time, it looked like they were resigned to their fate. They kind of gave in. It's hard to come back when you get down like they were. And they just didn't seem to have enough fight to make a go of it. AI right side. Pass to Navarro. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And here's the upcoming schedule for New Orleans. On Friday, they'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. Then on Sunday, they'll head back home to take on the Los Angeles Lakers. And Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. Second shot opportunity, and it's Murray laying it in. And the Spurs lead by four. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the back end. Well, it's paid off with a greater rate of second chance hoops. I mean, great effort to build this lead on their part. Trying his luck deep, sinks the three-pointer. And it's a seven-point Spurs lead. The Pelicans have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. The pass to Navarro. Hardaway against Young. Hardaway kicks to AI. Here's Navarro. No good again that time. San Antonio leading by seven. Young inside. Guarded by Hardaway. Pass to Young. Spurs passing it around. Shot clock at six. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Spurs. You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. And also, it's been a positive to watch that they've attacked the paint offensively as well. It's really been about the balance that they've shown. Franklin's checked in for New Orleans. Inside, Zamora. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Murray outside. With some arc. It's blocked. Here's Davenport. Pelicans trail by seven. AI passes to Hardaway, and he banks in the layup. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. San Antonio's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Passes it to Murray. For three. Rebounded by Hardaway. New Orleans has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Swiped away. 
to the inside. It's deflected. Franklin with the steal. Here's Hugh. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Hardaway has got his third assist on the night. That's a layup for him. He's just too open. Hardaway against Young. And it's Murray with the jam. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Hardaway kicks to A.I. Harrington, the pass to A.I. And it's Hardaway atop the key. Five on the clock. Here's Zamori. Offline with his three. Spurs leading by four. Murray outside. He dishes it to Young. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleek. And a moment now to look at the stats for Young. He's been fantastic over the last 10 games or so, putting up about 24 points per, seven assists, and three rebounds. And he brings that offensive firepower to the team. Scoring just comes natural. And, you know, defenses are throwing everything at him, Sid, yet he's still able to put up points. He's really unstoppable. The Spurs making a switch here. Go Bears checked in. And Young kicks to Murray. Goes up on the block. No good off the back of the rim. Pelicans trail by four. AI passes to Davis. He gets that one. Davis has got nine. And, you know, got to admire the patience inside from Davis. Outstanding at staying under control, taking his time, and burying the quality shot. Dishes to Murray. Young outside. For Davis. Shots good from Young. Ten points for him. They're up right now because he's been dominant on offense. And man, I like seeing him catch fire like this. AI, no good. It's Gobert with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And at times, it's pick your poison with Young. When he gets rolling, you are in for a long night. AI dishes to Davis. It's blocked, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession. AI kicks to Franklin. Pass to Palmer. There's the dish to AI. Five to shoot. Here's Davis. San Antonio with the rebound. Up next for them is the Pacers in Indianapolis. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. The pass to Young. There's the triple. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. And with the tide running against them, needs to talk it over with his guys. You're exactly right. Halting the other team's run momentarily. Let's see what he comes up with now, Greg. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. You look at San Antonio. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. Uh, I think for New Orleans, they continue to obliterate expectations because they found a way to get the most out of the guys on this roster. From outside the arc, the shot, no good. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. AI passes to Franklin. Count that bucket. Franklin's got 12 points in the game. Excellent awareness there. Zipping the ball over to the perfect spot to score. Kicks to Jones. Shot. 
shot from the wing. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Franklin's got his fourth rebound in this one. AI passes to Davis. That's good. He's five for nine. I'm always appreciative of the aggressive mindset. Get it down in the paint and go to work with confidence. Franklin with the steal. Down low. AI kicks to Davis. Count it. Good. Now just a three-point San Antonio lead. The defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. Pass to Young. San Antonio again missing. New Orleans gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Two points. That one goes. Just impressed with the teamwork out there. Setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets, Greg, resulting from assist. They're playing as one unit out there. Now here's Jones. Tight defense on him. Pass to Scott. Collects the two-pointer near the hoop. He's got six. Pelicans trail by three. If they play it right, we're talking a two-for-one. Well, you're maximizing your possessions. That's the critical thing here, and they've got to make sure the timing is right, though. New Orleans moving the ball around. AI kicks to Davis. That one goes in. Davis has got eight points here in this quarter. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Gobert can't hit. AI up top. Pass to Franklin. Launches a three. The shot, no good. Marcus Young getting it done for San Antonio. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Here's Murray. Setting the four now for the Pelicans. We've got Franklin. AI is out there with Davis. And it's Palmer in the small forward position. Scott finds Young. Six on the shot clock. And Franklin pulls it down. Franklin's got rebound number five here tonight. The pass to Palmer. To the paint. Out to the right wing. Pass to Franklin. Here's Zamori. Another one falls for New Orleans. Nice piece of work there. Get yourself a little space and pull the trigger. Young passes to Scott. He kicks to Murray. Young outside. A floater. He lays it in. Young's got 17 now. An impressive player. Skilled at breaking the defense down and just knifing his way through the defense. And it's A.I. missing. San Antonio leading. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Young with no one around. Buries it from three-point range. Young's got 20. Yeah, you got to respect the range Young possesses. They're able to punish you from beyond the arc. Now, here's Ayan. Defended by Young. At the elbow, it's Ayan. To the middle. Here's Davis. Another one falls for New Orleans. And he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Young dishes to Scott. Ananobi kicks to Murray. Puts up a three. It doesn't go for him. The Pelicans trail. AI passes to Davis. 
Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Ananobi kicks to Young. Over AI. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. The Pelicans have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Young with the steal. Murray left side. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Hardaway dishes to AI. Hardaway kicks to AI. To the paint. Got a piece of it. Navarro lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, they're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. San Antonio's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. And here's Young from the arc. No good on that one. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Franklin can't hit. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Young for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Young's got 23. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond. His second three of the half right there. AI passes to Navarro. And another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. San Antonio making a switch here. Paul's checked in. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Spurs. Well, their passing has been picturesque. A thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. Yeah, and the other thing that they've done well is they've really attacked the gaps of the defense with quick, decisive drives down the lane. Lock it two. Murray, no good. For New Orleans, they've gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. AI passes to Palmer. Hardaway with a wide open look. And the three ball is good. Hardaway has got five points so far. That defense was totally lost. Don't know how you let a shooter get off such a clean look from beyond the arc. Come on, you got to pay attention. Murray outside. Passes it to Davenport. Fader on the way. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. They've led by as much as 10. AI passes to Navarro. And taken away by Paul. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Here's Murray. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. For New Orleans, they've gone 5 of 7 from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. Again, New Orleans turns it over. Simply missed the connection there. I mean, I like the unselfishness. Admirable, but just not the result. Tyus Jones, he's checked in for DeJounte Murray. And it's Jones with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. It's a one-point game. Paul kicks to Jones. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got five assists in the game. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, two the nail fight so far, guys. These sides match up really well. Here's Jones. The teardrop falls in. Now it's a four-point Spurs lead. Resplendent release on the floater. When executed correctly, it's a beautiful, effective shot. Navarro, the pass to Palmer. AI kicks to Hardaway. Back to AI. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Four on the clock. From past the arc, drills the three-pointer. He has five. Oh, guys, that's an impressive spin move there. Didn't think he had a handle like that. Paul outside. Jones the pass to Davenport. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Here is a list of the NBA's most adept passing teams this season. These are your assist leaders. The Pelicans fourth. Number five, the Spurs. These two teams have really passed the ball well 
all season. They share it. They move it. It's really a pleasure to watch how they approach the game. That free throw, no good. T.J. Leaves checked in for New Orleans. He hits the second from the line. For New Orleans, they've gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. A.I. passes to Navarro. Paul with the steal. Pass to Davenport. Kicks it to Jones. Let's it go from deep. <laughs> New Orleans has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Hardaway passes to Leaf. Stolen. And now here comes Jones leading the break. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, the league has unveiled a five-point plan to improve player-referee relations. Things became heated last season with a lot of star players ejected for arguing with officials. The emphasis on respect and clear standards of conduct on both sides can only help. Kevin? Very good point, David. Completely agree. Thanks. And the first one at the line is good. He doesn't get the second one. San Antonio leading by four. He feeds it to Paul. Count that one. Paul's got seven points in the game. In that tight, with that much of an advantage height-wise, there's just not a lot the defense can do. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And they've been very loose with the ball here. They haven't been as patient, forcing things a bit, which has led to turnovers. They need to just slow down and relax. Pelicans trail by six. Now the pass to Navarro. Outside Hardaway. AI passes to Baxter. Can't hit that one. For San Antonio, they've gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the third quarter. Inside, Hall. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Hall's got four this quarter. Yeah, heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Navarro, the pass to AI. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. He's got 18. Oh, great awareness. No reason to take it inside there against the taller man. Yeah, he knew he had him beat, Greg. I mean, that was clear. Took advantage of the space he had and then calmly and quietly drained it from the mid-range. That's good basketball. Here's Baxter, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Now, just a four-point Spurs lead. And, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Can't connect from short range. For New Orleans, they've gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. And that one is good. And really, just unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. 
Jones against Hardaway. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And, and you can tolerate gaffes like that sometimes, but in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. Scotty's checked in for the Spurs. And the Pelicans making a change here as well. Harrington's checked in. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. Baxter passes to Hardaway. New Orleans moving it around. Don't let him shoot. Down to five on the shot clock. Harrington can't get it to go. And it's Jones with the ball for San Antonio. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. The Pelicans trail. AI passes to Baxter. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Well, it's been an outstanding game for them in the open court. Their fast break points really stand out. And also, their second chance points have been a story all night as well. But that's just pure effort and hustle. Pass to Young. And shot on the way. And it's out of bounds to the Spurs as San Antonio retains possession. And, you know, a chance here to see where the Pelicans sit in the NBA statistically. And you go back to their offense, the most explosive in the league. I mean, everyone talks about the great offense beating great defenses. And I tell you what, they make it difficult to hang with them. And Jones has it in the corner. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. And here are the Pelicans. They're rolling here with a nine-point run. Hardaway kicks to A.I. Baxter passes to A.I. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Young in the corner. Let's it fly from 18. And the basket is good. Young's got 10 points here in the second half. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. <laughs> 106 left in the third quarter of the game. Zamora defended by Jones. Lock at six. AI passes to Baxter. Over Gobert. And it's off the back rim. No good. San Antonio's gone downtown a lot since halftime. They've missed five of their nine attempts out there. Jones kicks to Scott. There's 38 seconds left to play here in the third. Here's Alexandris. It's rebounded by New Orleans. AI passes the back and down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. Neither side has relented a bit in this back and forth affair. And you can sense the energy in the building already as this game is starting to build towards having a terrific finish. Passes it to Leaf. AI left side. Let's it go from 14. Another one falls for New Orleans. I mean, even he was surprised to be that open. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Pelicans on top, ending the third quarter on a 14-6 run. Live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, you're watching. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. They've got Scott. 
Young is up there with Murray. And it's Rudy Gobert. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Out to the wing. Here's Franklin. Defended by Gobert. Goes up on the wing. Scott pulls it in. Scott's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Alexandris. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. AI kicks to Davis. The shot comes out. Nice D from Scott. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Exactly. Can't play it any better than that, Greg. Pass to Young. There's the triple. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Here's Zamori. Lays it up off the glass. And the Pelicans lead by one. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Gobert finds Young. Lays it up off the glass. Young's got five points now in the quarter. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X factor. For New Orleans, they've gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. A putback. Davis on the follow. Davis has got 19 points. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. And the shot goes in from Rudy Gobert. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. There's the pass to Leaf. Davis inside. Scott's there. Davis kicks to AI. Pass to Franklin. Let's it fly from 18. A rebound by the Spurs. Scott's got nine rebounds now tonight. Now here's Murray. He's guarded closer. Young passes to Scott. And he drops it in from the low post. And it's a three-point Spurs lead. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. I think he's got to be more aggressive, stronger, getting through those screens. Can't allow shooters that kind of space to pull the trigger. And that one's good by Davis. A, a good score inside, and, and the defense really offering very little resistance. Well, they don't have anybody to blame but themselves. Got to prevent them from getting good looks this late in the ball game. You got to come up with stop. Murray surveying the D. Here's Alexandris from outside off the mark. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And, Greg, we've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. San Antonio calls timeout. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. Now, he is on a major roll today. This timeout was desperately needed. They've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down. And the Pelicans making a change here. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Greg Popovich talking to his team during the break. With this game still up for grabs, he told his team, hey, we're in position to take this one, guys. Let's stay focused and stay together, and we'll get it done. We'll see how it plays out, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. AI passes to Franklin over Gobert. Another one falls for New Orleans. Yeah, I mean, he's been orchestrating all game 
at a high level. Yeah, making his teammates better through his passing, Greg. You know about that because you did it. Great job sharing the ball. Well, I appreciate it, partner. Always important to have somebody keep rhythm in the game. And when he gets it going, this is what can happen. They need to think about the double team now. Davis dishes Dewey on. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And that's now 20 points for AI. And you're starting to see some tired legs on those defenders as we come down the stretch here. Yeah, I agree with you, Greg. I mean, fatigue really a factor. You can see the heavy legs, and that's why he was wide open on that shot. The defender just couldn't get to him. The Pelicans have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. And some solid looks for them. The Spurs have gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. Puts it up from 17. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Young's got the game tied up here for San Antonio. AI kicks to Franklin. Back to AI. Goes up to the strike. Another one falls for New Orleans. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. It's deflected. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. The league's long-distance bombers are setting their sights on the three-point contest this season. Here are some of the early favorites to make up the field. And I love the way the voting is shaping up, Kevin. We'll have an excellent contest if these are the shooters who are firing away on All-Star Weekend. You look at AI. He's all the way up there at number two in the voting for the three-point contest. Fans and the media know that he is one of the premier long-distance shooters in the league today. And, Kevin, not to take anything away from the other facets of his game, but let's face it, that three-point shooting is what puts him on a whole nother level. And we'll keep you posted as we find out more and as we get closer to the three-point contest once we have our final list of official contestants. Yeah, it's going to be very competitive. That, that's the one thing we all know. We, we've got an incredible group of long-distance shooters in this league right now. Passes to Davenport. Back to Ananobi. To end the run. Here's Davenport. Banked in off the glass. And there's no quit when it comes to battling there until the final whistle. What a putback. Understands his role, does his job, and he did it right there, Greg. The timing couldn't have been better. Spurs trail by five. Here's Hananobi. That three off the mark. New Orleans has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Fires it up. No good that time. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. To the middle. It's intercepted. Here's Samori. Trills the baseline jumper. And the Pelicans lead by seven. And when you can outscore your opponent in transition, that's always going to work to your advantage. Hey, that's a big piece of the pie when you're talking about winning basketball fast break points. I mean, because most of the time, those are easy hoops. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. And it's Davis finishing it off. How about the leaping ability of Davis? So New Orleans wins it. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother him. I mean, road team, home team. I think I'm pretty sure this one's going on my highlight reel, guys. I'm just saying. Just saying. Great game, guys. AI, you got a second? The 2K Sports Post Game Show. And welcome back to the studio here on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille. This is Shaq.
And that's a wrap, everybody. Thanks for joining us this evening. For Shaq, for the Jet, for Kevin. Thanks, man. See you.